So we have Philippine Electrical Code Part 1. So Chapter 3 tayo, Wiring Methods and Materials. No? So last time, sabi ko na yung, may, yung dalawang klase ng, ano, ng installation. We have the open wiring on insulator na kung saan yung ating insulator lang ginagamit is yung insulation ng wire or insulator ng wire. So that is also known as the exposed wiring. We have also the cancelled knob and tube work. No? So for that one, so naka ano naka embed sa ating building no sa concrete yung ating mga wires no and either that is um the wires is inside a conduit or a raceway or ano um it is underground no so that is steel concealed knob and tube wiring okay then we have the different no, types of wiring, no, cable wiring, so armored, metal clad, mineral insulated, metal sheet, non-metallic sheeted cable, shielded and metallic sheeted cable, and service entrance cable. For the rest way naman, so first we have these conduits, no, from 1 to 7, lahat ng yan is conduit. No, so conduit is a raceway na ano, pipe or circular raceway. No? So, yun ang pinakaiba ng raceway at conduit. Conduit itself is a raceway pero lahat sila are considered as pipe, no? electrical pipes. Meanwhile, raceway is anything that is used to enclose no? or to contain wire to protect it from damage. No? So, ang approved raceway or approved conduit na gamitin for electrical installation is we have the IMC, the Intermediate Metallic Conduit. We have the rigid metallic conduit, the rigid and metallic conduit, the EMT. No? So, yung, so, lahat naman tayo siguro nakapag-assessment ng NC2. So, yung ating mini bend during the assessment is the EMT, the electrical metallic tubing. Then, we have also the flexible metallic tubing, liquid tight flexible metallic tubing, and the liquid tight flexible and metallic tubing. So for the raceway naman, the approved raceway uh, to be used, no? In concealed knob and tube wiring is the metallic surface raceway, the wooden surface raceway, the non-metallic surface raceway. So ito yun yung nasa assessment yung tatawag nating ano um wire molding, no? Then we have for special cables, meron tayong underground feeder and brand circuit cable, the power and control tray cable, flat conductor cable, medium voltage cable, integrated gas spacer cable. Underfloor cables, cellular metal forestway, cellular concrete forestway, wireways, busways, cable trays, cable bus, and the flexible metallic conduit, then the electrical and metallic tubing, and the multi outlet assembly. So, about isa niyan is my sariling mga standards. No? So, wiring methods. No? So, we have two types of voltages. So, if our voltage is 600 volts, that is the nominal or mas mababa pa kaysa 600 volts. So, AC circuit and DC circuit conductor shall be permitted to occupy the same equipment wiring, enclosure, cable, or raceway. So, what does it mean? So, 600 volts below, yung AC conductors at yung DC conductors pwede sila pagsamahin sa isang tubo or sa isang raceway or sa isang enclosure. Yan. So, all conductors shall have an insulating rating equal at least the maximum circuit voltage applied to any conductor. So, for example, we have a 120 volts DC cable. Tapos, meron tayong 230 volts AC cable. No? So, ibig sabihin, dun sa 230 volts sa cable, ang dadaan doon is AC. Yung sa 120 is DC. So, ano dapat yung rating? No? Yung uh, voltage rating ng mga wires na yun o mga cable yun. So, dapat yung voltage rating ng mga wires na yun are all 230 volts. Kahit pa yung dadaan doon sa DC cable is just 120 volts. No? So, yan. So, if you are going to mix um, AC and DC conductors kasi allowed siya from 600 volts below na voltage, so, dapat ang rating ng lahat ng mga conductor na yun is yung maximum na, sa, na, ano, na circuit voltage ng mga conductors. No? If the maximum is 230, therefore, all cable no, or wires must be rated at 230 volts. Okay? Then we have over 600 volts or nominal, no, so pataas ang 600 volts, conductor rated over 600 volts shall not occupy the same equipment, wiring, enclosure, cable, 
this way unless permitted no so kapag 600 volts pataas na so it is not necessarily na permitted na mag tag na mag pangabot yung pangabot yung pa AC at DC cable so wala lang tayong mga iba't ibang um, conditions no which to be followed no so the following conditions ito na yon so secondary wiring to electric discharge lamp of 100 volts or less so in case na ano lang siya is for the street light or for the floodlight o yung mga lamps rated 1000 volts and that is that's only secondary wiring so void is is aba no if primary leads naman for electrical discharge lamp balas pwede din for excitation control relay um ammeter conductors no used in individual motor starter so pwede din then motor switch gear uh, control assemblies and of similar equipment so pwede din tapos in manholes condition of each system is permanently and effectively separated from the other system yan so yan yung mga conditions Okay, so protection against physical damage. So either exposed and concealed locations installed in joist or wood members. Holes must not be less than 300 mm or 30 mm. No, ito yung kanyang butas. So dapat hindi siya, ano, um, yung, yung butas natin is hindi siya bababa ng 300 mm from the nearest edge. No? So, kapag doon tayo sa wall or joist, no? So, dapat yung butas niya from the edge of our, ano, uh, member, member or joist is not, uh, hindi siya bababa ng 300 mm. Tapos, yung screw penetration, nails by steel plate or bossing shall be at least. So, ito yung kanyang penetration, no? Yung lalim ng pagka, ano, ng pagka anchor, which is 1.6 mm. So, cable and raceway through wood members. So, dalawa lang yung allowed. So, yung ano, board holes. So, ibig sabihin, yun talagang ano, um, talagang yung mga wood members is binutas. Tapos, na chest in wood. No? So, naka ano siya, naka, ano tawag yun? Naka palaman siya or naka ano siya sa wood. Hindi pwede na yung ating mga wires is gagamitan ng uh, glue stick or ng mga adhesive in order for it to uh, clean or dumikit siya doon sa mga wood. So, dalawa lang, no? Board holes or notches in wood. Okay. So, we have non-metallic sheeted cable, electrical metallic tubing through metal frame members. So, in case we are using non-metallic sheeted cables or electrical non-metallic tubing tapos sa metal, so, it must be, if non-sheeted cable siya, so, it must be protected or protected by listed bushing or groom next covering of all metal edge so that is to protect um, our cable and also our conduit from scratches or yung magkakaroon ng damage ang kanyang surface then we have cables to space behind panels designed to allow access so for example we have a panel tapos dadaan siya dun sa ano sa likod so yan so meron dapat siyang enough na ano na bending radius no which will be also tackling bawat ano bawat cable is may kanya-kanyang ano um kanya-kanyang laki ng building uh, bin, bending radius cable and raceway parallel to framing members and pouring strips tapos cables and raceways installed in shallow groups tapos insulated fittings um 22 mm squared or larger intra cabinet enclosure or raceway protected by substantial fitting with smoothly rounded insulating surface. So, dapat daw pag yung ating ano, conductors is 22 square mm or larger, so tapos papasok siya sa cabinet or enclosure or raceway, so it, be, it must be protected by enough na ano, enough na support, no? And also, the ano the tawag doon the edges must be rounded no or smoothed okay so mechanical and electrical continuity okay so conductors in this way shall be continuous between outlet boxes devices and so forth so ibig sabihin 
So, the conductors must be continuous. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, walang putol. No? So, ito nakalagay klaro, klaro dito. There shall be no splice or tap with a raceway unless permitted. So, walang pwedeng um, splicing doon sa loob ng raceway or conduit unless it is permitted. So, in multi-wire brand circuit, the continuity of a grounded conductor shall not depend on the device connection, such as lamp order, receptacles, and so forth, where the removal of such cables would interrupt the continuity. So, ibig sabihin, yung mismong ano, yung mismong uh, grounding mo is hindi siya dapat ito nakalagay sa mga devices, but on the boxes itself. Tapos, dapat nakabanding pa siya. So, that in case na i-remove yung device, no? So, mayroon pa rin ano, uh, continuity yung ground. Yeah. Okay. Then we have Okay. So, ito pala. No? So, we'll have pala some questions. No? Um, tawag doon. Some Debut questions, no? Okay. So, all you need to do is to write your answer to the chat box. Okay. So, the first question is this one. Okay. So, which of the following wiring men Methods involves installation of wiring exposed on insulators. So, arin dito yung exposed wiring method. So, kindly write your answer on our chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is letter Kita natin kung ano yung correct answer dito. So letter B, open wiring on insulator. Okay, next. Which cable wiring method is known for its flexible metal sheeting and that provides both mechanical protection and grounding? Okay. Ito pala, no? So ito is metal clad cable. Tingnan natin dito. Wait lang. Bakit na wala to siya? Okay. Parang may na-hide na no slides. Oh, ito pa. Okay. Dito tayo. Yan. So, when dealing with circuits rated over 600 volts, so which of the following combination is allowed to share the same equipment wiring enclosure or raceway? So, any conductors, different voltage rating as long as they are properly insulated. All types of conductors are allowed to be mixed without any restriction. Secondary wiring to electrical discharge lamps of 100 volts or less and primary leads of electrical discharge lamp or excitation control and ambient conductors of any type of equipment. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? secondary wiring to discharge lamps of 100 volts or less and primary leads of electrical discharge lamps. Okay, so for circuits operating 600 volts or less, which of the following statement is true regarding the coexistence of AC and DC conductors? Yan. So alin dyan sa choices yung tamang sagot.
Okay, so the correct answer is letter. So B, AC and conductors and DC are going to be mixed in the same equipment as long as they have equal insulating ratings. So yung, yung rating na dapat masudo dito for the insulation rating must be the maximum uh, rated voltage ng conductors. Na yung pinakamalaki na voltage rating na na nasa ano na sa kahit anong conductors na yun. Okay? In manholes, what requirement for separating conductors of different system? So alin alin dito yung requirement when it comes to manhole? Okay, no? so the correct answer is letter C. No? Conductors of each system must be permanently and effectively separated from conductors of other system. Okay, next. When installing wiring in joints, rafters, or wood members, what is the minimum distance that holes should be from the nearest edge to prevent physical damage? <clears throat> Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? So at least 30 mm, no? From joist rafters or um, wood members, okay? Next, what is the required thickness of steel plate or bushing, no? The penetration itself used to protect wiring from screw penetrations or nails in exposed and concealed locations. Yeah. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, you know, 1.6 mm. Okay, so which of the following methods is used to protect raceway containing ungrounded conductors 22 square mm or larger as they enter a cabinet enclosure or risway. Okay. Yan. So the correct answer is letter D, no fitted with substantial insulating fitting with a smoothly rounded surface. Okay, when installing cables and raceways parallel to framing members and foring strips, what consideration should be taken into account? Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. Adequate spacing should be maintained between cables and
streaming members. Okay, so which of the following statement is true regarding conductors in Risway? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C. No? Conductors must be continuous between outlets, boxes, and devices. So, dapat walang putol yung ating mga conductors. Okay. So, in a multi-wire brand circuit, what should be relied upon for the continuity of our grounded conductor? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no device connections like live ponder. So, dapat hindi siya uh, to, to be relied on no? or asahan para to secure the continuity of our grounded conductor. So, mas mabuti pa na meron splices no? or yung ating banding for our grounding. Okay, now we go to the length of free conductors at outlets, junction, box, and points. No? So, kung ilan yung Sobra, no? Or il ilan yung lalabas na conductor doon sa ating mga boxes. So, for this one, we have 150, no? 150 mm of free conductors, no? So, 150 mm, that is approximately equal to 6 inches. So, that is uh, from the point in the box to the Raceway. So, galing, galing doon sa ating raceway, no? yung paglabas sa raceway, doon sa box. So, that is 6, ano, um, 6 inches or 150 mm. No? So, this is to be utilized for splicing. Yan. Been wiring on ducts, plenums, and other air handling spaces. So, for this one, no? for this type of wiring, the approved um, types of cable are type MI, type MC cable, and without non-metallic uh, covering. Pwede din EMT, FMT, IMC, RMC without non-metallic covering. So, dito lang, the approved must all be metallic raceway or metallic cables. So, panels designed to allow access. So, cable, raceway, and equipment installed behind panels designed to allow access including suspended ceiling panel shall be arranged and secured so as to allow the removal of panel and access to the equipment. So, dapat yung ating cables and raceways must be well designed na if the removal of the panel or or kapag yung panel ni remove or kailangan natin access yung ating equipment, so the cable itself will not hindrance the removal or the access of the said equipment. So, requirements for 600 volts nominal conductors bending radius. So, this is now the bending radius for our different types of cable. So, non-shielded cable, so meaning ating cable wala siyang shield. So, the bending radius shall not be less than 8 times the overall diameter. Kapag meron siyang shield, so meron pa siyang extra covering, no, or may extra exhalation pa siya, either that is a another thermoplastic or a lead covered conductor so the bending radius must be 12 times the overall diameter if our cable is consists of two or more conductors shielded together no or it is grouped together so ang kanyang bending radius must be 12 times the diameter of the individual conductor or seven times the overall diameter whichever is greater no and so, conductors for general wiring. So, we are going to use stranded conductors. So, this it this uh, this conductor should only be uh, used no, for sizes 8.0 square mm and larger. No? So, it should be stranded. 
below that one, so pwede po natin gamitin yung solid. No? So, from 5.5 to 14 square mm. Or 2.0 square mm. So, the parallel connection of conductors. So, we have conductors that are 50 square mm and larger. Yeah, that is aluminum or copper clad aluminum or copper are permitted to be parallel. So, parallel conductors in each phase, polarity, neutral grounded circuit conductor shall be I shall comply with the following conditions. So, B, the same length. So, kunyari, meron tayong dalawang conductors for phase A, uh, 50 square mm. So, dapat pariho ang kanilang length. Pariho ang kanilang material. No? Same conductor material. Uh, same ng cross-sectional cross area. Tapos, pariho ng insula insulation types. So, kunyari, if uh, yung dalawa dapat pariho sa THN or TW. Tapos, must be terminated in the same manner. So, either they are terminated using crimping lugs or mechanical lugs. So, dapat same yung dalawa. So, shielded. So, solid dielectric conductors operated above 2,000 volts in permanent installation shall have ozone resistant insulation and shall be shielded. So, if our conductors, uh, they are insulated, no, solid sila, no, and insulated, but they are operating at 2,000 volts. No? So, dapat they must be also resistant because usually this type of conductors are exposed no? to direct sunlight and shall be shielded. So, when say shielded, so meron pa siyang panibagong uh, covering no? aside from the insulation itself. Okay. So, locations. So, these are the different types of locations at kung ano yung mga gagamitin natin na mga conductors. No? For dry location, so, insulated conductors and cables of any type can be used in dry location. So, kahit anong klaseng conductors or cables pwedeng gamitin in dry location. In dry and damp location, so pwede nyo nang gamitin are those in locations, are those conductors which are rated for dry and damp. No? So, we have these conductors FEP, FPB, MT, WPFA, RHH. No? So, they must have a temperature rating of say 75 degrees above no kasi the usual is pero lang ano isang h no okay then for wet location so the wet location so you could use moisture impervious metal sheeted so meron siyang ano uh, sheet or shield na ano uh, waterproof so tapos mer pwede rin yung mga wires na may w meaning meron silang moisture resistant ka capability if conductors are exposed to direct sunlight so insulated cable conductors or cables exposed to direct rays of the sun shall be the type that are sunlight resistant no? so dapat yung mismo wire is rated as sunlight resistant okay then marking so ano yung mga marking sa ating mga wires no or cables all conductors and cables shall be marked with the following. So, the maximum rated voltage. So, yung may, yung binigay ko na table dun sa, no, pinipinig ko part 2 yung sa mga ampacity ng wire. All those wires, the maximum rated voltage of those wires are 2,000 volts. No, 2,000 volts. So, dapat nakalagay yun sa uh, mismong covering ng cable. So, the proper type of letters or letters Tapos, yung manufacturer's name, trademark, or distinctive marking of manufacturer. Yung size, no? In square, uh, in millimeter square, or pwede rin ilagay yung diameter ng wire in millimeter. Tapos, cable assemblies where the neutral conductor is smaller than the underground conductors must be also um, given proper identification, no? Then, method of marking. So, paano ba siya ano, uh, nakamark? So, surface marking, ibig sabihin doon nakalagay sa insulation. So, the size in square mm or mm diameter shall be repeated at intervals not exceeding 600 mm. So, every 600 mm or 2 feet within the length of the cable. So, dapat mayroong makikita na marking for the size and the diameter of the cable or the diameter of the cable. So, kahit alin doon sa dalawa, size or diameter. Then, all other markings, no? so, the, the manufacturer, the rated voltage, ito, itong mga markings na to, no? 
Yan, the letter type or the type of wire. So that will be repeated at intervals of not exceeding 1,000 mm. So every 1,000 mm, so nire-repeat yung pangalan ng company, ng brand type ng cable at yung maximum rated voltage. So all of this type of cable are required no, to have markings on their insulations. So marker type, so metal covered metal covered multiconductor cable shall employ a marker type. So we don't meron may, merong marker either that marker is printed or stickered lalo na if that uh, kasi yung insulation ng cable natin is metal no or it is covered with metal. So yung uh, i ano na siya i ma mark or i it is you can yung mga rating will be stamp on the metal cover itself. So tag marking printing tag shall be attached to the coil reel or carton for for the following. So for mineral insulated or metal sheeted cables, switchboard wires, metal covered single conductors and type AC cable. So ito yung kanyang mga tag marking for the uh, manufacturer, the rating, the size. So this those are applicable in this type of cables. Okay, so suffixes to designate the number of conductors. So a type letter to indicate the number of conductors. So this is for multi-wire cable. No? So ibig sabihin sa isang cable, mayroong dalawang wire, mayroong tatlo. Okay, so D, that is two insulated conductors lay parallel with non-metallic covering. So dalawang conductors. Yung M naman is assembly of two or more insulated conductor twisted parallel with non-metallic covering. Okay, then aluminum conductor material, all aluminum alloy conductor shall be, ito yung type na aluminum na gagamitin for uh, aluminum conductors, no? Double uh, A 8000. So, series which is an electrical grid aluminum. So, solid conductors. So, yung solid conductors for aluminum is 8.0 square mm, 5.5, at 3.5. So, wala pong, ano, 2.0 na aluminum conductor. Standard conductor, so 8.0 through 500 square mm. So ito yung mga type na meron or allowed for to be used if you are going to use stranded aluminum conductors. Okay. So this is the minimum cover requirements, no? If you are going to directly buried our Conductor, so that is in millimeter. So all locations that is specified below. So to yon six hundred. If that is directly buried, if mino siyang non metal uh, rigid non metallic conduit, if uh, non metallic yung ililibing uh, yung covering niya, if that is uh, yung it should be protected. Do no? protect siya for GFCI, kasi may moisture yung ano yung pag ano pag alagyan. No? Then, if this uh, circuit is used for irrigation and they are type under ground um, cable or UF cables. Okay. Yeah. So, minimum cover requirement. No? So, if our cable is more than 600 volts to 22 kilovolts, so ito na yun, mga sizes niya in mm. Okay. So, ito yung mga iba't ibang uh, conductor application insulation no so ito lang uh, you just need to uh, browse this one no so hindi naman to talaga in ano um lumalabas sa exam kasi ito yung summary nito is yung discuss ko kanina about the different types of conductor yung sa mga yan dry location wet location so this is just a summary of this table ito. yan itong table na to Okay. Yeah. So the derating, so ito na discuss na natin to dati, no? Yung sa load calculation natin, if 1 to 3 conductors so 100%, if more than 3 so 4 to 6 80%. Yeah. Okay. So we have here questions again, no? If uh, you could put your answer on our chat box, what is the minimum let length of free conductor? Required from the point in the box to the raceway or cable sheet at each outlet junction and switch point 
for splices. So, ilan na yung sobrang conductor? No? Pag lalabas na dun sa box. Okay. So, the correct answer is letter B. Letter C pala. B. Letter C, 150 mm. Okay. Next. Which of the following types of cable is permitted for wiring in ducts, plenums, or air handling spaces? So, alin dito yung pwedeng gamitin, no? Yung plenum, ducts, and air handling spaces. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A, no? Type MI cable. Okay, next. So in which following circumstances is EMT electrical metal tubing allowed for wiring in ducts, plenums, and air handling spaces? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? So because it is a metallic conduit, so pwede na siya gamitin in duct, plenums, and air handling spaces provided na wala siyang non-metallic covering. So what is the requirement for arranging and securing cables with equipment installed behind panels designed to allow access such as suspended ceiling panels? So ano yung requirements? Okay, the correct answer is letter D, no? So, they should allow the removal of panels access to the equipment. Okay, next. For non-shaded cable with a diameter of 1 inch, what is the maximum bending radius? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? 8 inches kasi 8, eight times ng kanyang diameter ang bending radius for non-shielded uh, conductors, no? Next, when dealing with multi-conductor cable consisting of 
individual conductors with a diameter of 0.5 inches, what is the bending radius ba based on the provided requirements? No. So, ano yung dapat yung kanyang bending radius? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? 7 inches. Yeah. Okay, when are stranded conductors required to be used in raceway? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no conductors larger than 8.0 square mm. Okay, next, when dealing with circuits rated over 600 volt, which of the following combinations is allowed to share the same equipment wiring enclosure? So, para kayo na, ito yung yung question kanina, no? Secondary wiring for discharge slam of 1000 volts or less. Okay. So, which of the following condition is not a requirement for parallel conductor in each phase polarity neutral or grounded circuit conductors? So, ano yung hindi requirement? So, not a requirement ha? So, hindi siya requirement. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D. No? So, dapat uh, hindi requirements yung pag-iba pag sila ng termination methods. So, dapat they must have the same termination methods. Okay, for solid dielectric insulated conductors operated above 200 volts or less in permanent installation, what is the required characteristics of their insulation? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? ozone resistant. Okay, next. Which type of conductors and cables are permitted for use in both dry and damp location?
Okay, so the correct answer is letter B. No, types THWN, THWN dash two, TW, XHH, XHW, and XHW dash two. Okay, in which type of location can insulated conductors and cable of any type be used? Okay, the correct answer is letter A, only in dry locations. Which of the following types of conductors are cable are suited for wet to be used in wet locations? Okay, the correct answer is letter A. So types MTW, RHW, RHW dash 2, TW, THW, and THW dash 2. So yung lahat na mayroong T, A, L, W sa kanyang insulation naming. Okay, in what type of location should insulated conductors or cables be sunlight resistant? Yun. So nasa mismong question na yung clue para dun sa sagot. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no? Location exposed to direct sunlight. Which of the following is not required to be marked on conductors and cables according to the code? Okay, so the correct answer is so only manufacturer name and size in limiter. Okay, in which case is marking for cable assemblies required as per given the code?
Okay, so the correct answer is so ito, no, only if the neutral cable is larger than the ungrounded conductor. Okay, so we will be discussing no, cabinet cutout boxes and meter socket enclosure. So, but first, we'll take siguro 10 minute break. No? So, we'll be back at 9.10. No? So, we will be uh, 10 minute break muna tayo tapos i-discuss natin to. And after discussion, we will have also another batch of uh, multiple choice questions. Okay?